I kind of wish I was telling a story from 20 years ago, but in reality, I could be telling a story that is happening right now. Um, and that's a really weird feeling for me to be, to, to be doing that. But at the same time, I think it needs to be told because there are people right now, like my family, leaving home. And this story will, will show what that journey looks like, why people leave home, and I guess what happens when they get to safety and trying to adjust their lives and rebuild their lives. It's a story of hope. It's a story of love, family, and unity, which is a universal language. Um, it's a story that we should live our life to the fullest, uh, be grateful, um, and look out for others. You know, for, for me, NHS became our extended family. They gave my brother additional 17, 18 years. Um, so yeah, the story is, it's emotional, but at the same time, there are so many laughter moments and there are some moments you look back and I hope you reflect and say, you know, I am gonna uh, smile a bit more and that act of kindness doesn't necessarily need to be huge. It's just little things that we do that could help others around us. I'm sure there's a saying, you know, um, if I don't laugh, I'm going to I'm going to cry. It's, it's exactly that, you know, when you go through a journey of a year and a half across countries that some of them you've never, well, none of them you've ever been. Um, some of them you can't even pronounce. Some of them you don't even know where they are. You know, we were in Moscow and Russia for about six months. The only thing that got us through and ultimately everyone is people that are around you. So for me, it was my family. It's those crazy childish laugh, the moments that got us through those dark days. And again, I think that's very universal is when we're down and in our dark moments, we look for our loved ones around us to support us. And you'll see that through the play. I simply wanted to get my emotions into paper. I wanted a, a way to remember my brother, the, uh, you know, that he never be forgotten, leave a legacy and kind of remember every moment about him. Um, what I didn't expect is the, is the feedback it received and the coverage that it has. And obviously all those amazing people out there who've bought the book and now turning into a, a play, which sounds uh, unreal. I think the first reservation I had is when I, um, uh, when I wrote the book, you know, um, I knew I was going to admit to stuff that I thought I'm going to take it to the grave with me. Uh, talk about in insecurities, talk about in emotions. Um, I went through that phase with the book. Uh, and I think in my head, if the book or the play helps someone else or raises awareness or makes someone appreciate life a bit more, then uh, I'm happy to, I say I'm happy, ask me in a few weeks' time. Um, I'm, I'm content with my, with my life and my family's life to be on the stage. I've met the actors, also we spend a lot of time. Um, I think the first night is when it's, when it's gonna hit me where I see people queuing up to come and see the play and then there'd be a realization, they're all here to watch my story and my journey. And I can guarantee you it'd be emotional, but also um, it, it'd, be, it'd be good emotions, the, you know, the good tears that they say, the happy tears they say. I would guarantee you, you'd walk away um, being emotional, but also um, feel uplifted, feel uh, more hopeful. And, you know, with lack of COVID and what's been going on, this is the right time for this play because it talks about no matter how dark your day is or your days are, you can always find a, a moment to, to pause and just be grateful uh, and smile and live your life to the fullest. So that's what, that's what this play is about.